So um, I've kind of come with you today to show. Okay. What am I saying? What am I saying? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my March favourites. It's been a while since I've done a favourites video. I think it was last year. Oh, that's so bad. That's so long. So there have been a couple of reasons why I haven't been able to do a video for a while. And one of them is because I haven't really looked my best. And the reason for that is because I have had a little bit of dermatitis on my face. You may have noticed it in previous videos when I kind of said, you know, eczema on my face, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of came back and it was kind of bad. And I can't cover it up with makeup. I'm trying to air it as much as I can, which is quite bad because I've got quite a lot of filming and shows coming up at the moment. So I'm kind of airing it as much as I can um, so that when I have to cover it up, I really do have to cover it up, you know. So um, today it's on show. Um, I think it's more prominent to me than anyone else because um, since I've been quite young I've had quite clear skin and then to suddenly have this blotchy red horrible monster on my face is more it's more affected me than anyone else. So, um, yeah, but I will be doing an updates video soon to kind of catch you up with what I've been doing, what's coming up. So I will kind of touch on that a little bit then. But let's get on with the video. So the first little couple of items are beauty related. And I've kind of got a mixture of um, kind of body, makeup and hair. So the first one is an old favourite and it is uh, the L'Oreal Paris El Nut Satin Heat Styling Spray. And they do three different types. They do volume, which is the one that I've got now. They also do straight and they also do curly. I've been using their heat styling spray for a while and it's really good. It's really light, a little like the hairspray actually and it gives really good coverage. The spray is so good at covering your hair without completely drenching it. it gives you just the right amount. Um, it smells lovely and it really does protect against um, heat and when I use it with other styling instruments then it's, it's really good and my hair isn't frazzled after using heat so it really does protect against it. Next one is something that I wasn't sure whether to join the hype on or not, um, but I basically got this next item in my London Fashion Weekend goodie bag. I did a post about that on my blog, so I'll put all the links below, of course. Um, and it is the Maybelline New York Baby Lips. And it is so worth the hype. It really is. I've always been a Vaseline girl. But this is just as good as Vaseline, but in such an easy applicator. Um, it you just slick it on, so moisturising. It's in this this is the hydrate one, by the way. Next is concealer, and I was looking at different concealers. I was looking at the Nars one, um, but I also had heard about this one. It's the Collection Two Thousand Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in Light. And I think Tanya Burr uses this and she loves it. And so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. And it's so good. Its coverage is amazing. You don't always have to wear it with foundation. You can wear it by itself without any foundation if you're feeling like a non-foundation day. And it covers it just as well. Um, it blends in really well. Um, I The applicator... Um, is really good. Just dot a little bit on. You need, you need a little bit. It says on here it actually has 16 hour wear and I think it does have that amount of wear. It does last a full day. So if you're looking for a long wear concealer then this is really good. Next one is another lip crayon and I know I go on about lip crayons a lot. I have been recently anyway. But they're just my new obsession really. It's the Bourjois Paris Colour Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick. They call it a lipstick, but it's a lip crayon. This is the um, Red Sunrise one. Again, it smells really good. I'm really bad at describing fragrances. So the only way I can describe it is that it's a really nice lipstick smell. <laughs> 
I, that's really that's really the only way I can describe it really um, I think when you smell it you might be able to kind of get where I'm coming from um, it reminds me of lip lipstick when I was a kid um, when I, I you know you'd go up to your, like your mum's dressing table and then you'd have all shovel or all kind of makeup and stuff and like you'll try it all out and things like that and it kind of reminds me of that kind of smell um, again really lasting really moisturizing pigmentation is fab last of kind of my beauty lot is um it's a body product and it's an avon product i know again it is avon planet spa bali botanic how do you say that botanica botanica yeah it's the avon planet spa bali botanica body scrub with frangipani I think that's right and lemongrass and I went through my last Avon scrub very quickly um, it was like in a round pot but this is kind of like their new look kind of packaging and I really do prefer it um, it's it's in like a tube it's so much easier than having to kind of kind of dip your finger in it's like a massive pot and I knowing me I usually knock it over and it will go everywhere but this is um it's quite luxe actually i love the colors this turquoise uh turquoise teal and this the gold kind of kind of lid and detailing i really love it the smell is amazing i love the smell of lemongrass it's a very subtle smell so it doesn't overpower you and it kind of comes out in this kind of iridescent kind of scrub um and it's ooh, it's gonna pop. It's gonna pop. Okay, it's fine. The liquid part of it, it's actually really moisturising. So as it scrubs and exfoliates, it also moisturises at the same time. So this is is kind of a multitasker. Now I'm kind of on to fashion bits, and the first lot they're kind of fashion. They are. Um, I recently went to a dance convention called Move It um, at the Kensington Olympia. Um, I don't know if you, any of you went, let me know if you did, um, let me know what you thought of it because I thought it was really good. There's a lot of dance colleges, I'm not personally going to go to a dance college because I'm more kind of going down the acting route, but um, there were some amazing stalls there and I picked up some pieces, these are two of the pieces that I have and they're quite good because they're kind of multitaskers, I can wear them for dance but I can also wear them out as well. So the first one is this pineapple crop top and this is a proper crop top it really it, it's like kind of goes there um just kind of on your waist and this is it's great for it is it's really great for dance i can just throw it on over a leotard or in the summer i'm planning on just having it alone with my pineapple um crop top which my 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 sporty bra crop top that I also bought there which I will show you guys at some point um yeah but also I can wear it out as well because kind of logos are kind of in at the moment so I can wear this as a kind of kind of dance logo kind of top um yeah really light lovely jersey material and the kind of other thing I got the other one I'm going to show you today is pretty similar but it's also not obviously dancey it's this little um another crop top it's by Plume and it is a really nice tight crop top. It's a bit more versatile than the other one because you can you can wear it for dance either with like a long baggy top with like slits down the sides or something like that but you can also wear it out. So in this summer like with like high-waisted like denim cut-offs or you can wear it underneath like denim like dungarees or pinafore or things like that just to layer um, things up a little bit um, and both of these tops are a really good price as well they were from Dance Direct um, so if you're looking for something that's not really kind of not what everyone's wearing um, some dance wear stuff is actually really good for wearing it out um, also you find that with um, like leotards as well you can wear them as bodies because they have some really nice ones like bits of lace and things like that so um, if you're looking for something a bit different, um, I recommend going to actually look at dancewear. 
because it's it's brilliant and it lasts ages as well. The next thing is something that I got at London Fashion Weekend and it's the first thing I'm going to show you, there's actually two things that I got, but the first thing is this ring from my flash trash and it is the cutest thing ever. It's a little bunny um, in gold and it's got um, little green jewels for eyes and it's just it's just the cutest thing ever it's it's quite heavy so it feels quite luxe um but it just it's just something that really kind of blings up an outfit so oh stripped it the other thing that i got at london fashion weekend is something from a designer i hadn't heard before but her stuff is absolutely amazing it's really nice and patterned and it's, I got this Charlotte Taylor polo neck and I've been recently getting into polo necks, you may have seen some outfit posts and things like that so this was something I, there was like, she does a lot of pattern, animal pattern stuff kind of, kind of like uh, African animals and things like that but this one really caught my eye it's such a bold print but the print is actually, it's like a ram skull with like the horns and things like that and they it just seamlessly goes all the way round like that it's actually really light as well and the neck isn't too high sometimes with pony necks you're like up here and you're like being strangled by it but this one it just sits nicely on the neck um, don't have to fold it over or anything it's quite long in the body as well so you can tuck it into stuff or layer it kind of over I don't know like jeans or something like that but again, really wearable. It's a great statement piece as well. I actually wore it to um, a Calzedonia Bipling customising workshop. I'll put the link down below. And I actually wore it with like a black skirt and I wore it with my pink Timberland boots. So it was kind of like a monochrome outfit, like a fun monochrome with a bit of splash of colour kind of outfit. Oh, do you like my mug, by the way? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! It's literally the best joke ever. So the last thing in my kind of fashion favourites um, for March was something that I actually made. And it was a bit of like a customising thing. It was from the Calzedonia bit playing customising workshop that I went to on behalf of Naked Fashions. If you don't know, I also, as well as having Away With The Fairies as my blog, I also contribute to another blog called Naked Fashions. I was lucky enough to be invited to it through Naked Fashions. And basically, we got to go and meet Bipling. Now, Bipling is one of my blogging heroes probably since the start of when I started to get into blogs she was someone that I really look, looked up to she was so individual and her, per, her she has the most amazing personality she was really kind of welcoming to us all and she just treated us just as one you know I was glad that I met her because you know how sometimes people are quite nervous about meeting their idols because they don't know if they're going to be disappointed. Well, I was not disappointed. Ah! Well, I was not disappointed at all. Um, she was so, so sweet, so fun. She actually gave us a little bit of a workshop into how to draw the mooch that she does. So, I will now show you the, uh, the leggings that I made. It was all part of Calzedonia's new collection called Denim Days. And so, this is what I made. So, there was literally so much stuff, I'll show you all the way to the bottom, literally so much stuff that you could use, we were all so spoilt for choice. Um, but I kind of went for some stuff that I don't really have a lot of in my wardrobe. There are two things, neon and hologram. So basically um, I put on these like paint splattered neon studs and then I put on like these little kind of groups of holographic sequins and put glitter around it. God I love a bit of glitter. And then I put these, I love these, these neon um, gems. I kind of dotted them down the leg in yellow and orange. And then down at the bottom, I kind of did them as little cuffs, like so. Um, 
and they actually I'm actually really pleased with them because I mean there were some the other bloggers there were doing an amazing job just hi to anyone that I met there it was so nice meeting you and the last thing I did I did a little mooch I didn't really do him justice but Bip gave us permission to do a mooch if we wanted to and so I did um, so there's my mooch hello so thank you very much Calcedonia for inviting me along because I had an amazing time so the last thing in my March favourites is a bit of a miscellaneous one but it is Lavazza coffee I am a big, oh my god that smells so good uh, I got this free in my London Fashion Weekend goodie bag really wakes me up in the morning uh, weirdly enough a little bit more than instant coffee didn't know that was possible because coffee is coffee but it really does perk me up in the morning and it smells so good and I need to get this away from me before I actually probably eat it which is probably really bad for me so that is it for my March favourites I really hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like, if you want to see more videos um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.